Robert uh, Kajic, uh, Senior Economist with the Bank of Montreal. He's in Toronto today. Robert, good to have you here on CTV News Channel. Um, I think a lot of Canadians looking to sell their homes are going to be listening to this conversation. So your, your thoughts here, are we surprised that we're seeing a drop in sales when at one point, I mean, things were going right through the roof and they needed to settle? No, this is no surprise yeah. at all. I mean, we've we've been pretty consistent all along that what we were seeing through, especially 2021, was just uh, an extreme case of excess demand, and it was fueled by a lot of things. It was fueled by record low interest rates and arguably interest rates that were kept too low for too long. Um, that set off an increase in home prices, and when you have home prices running at 20, 30, 40 percent per year, that brings in a lot of excess demand from from investors and speculators, and it creates a fear of missing out in the market. So. That is gone now, right? Mm -hmm. So when the Bank of Canada started to raise rates earlier this year, very quickly that all went away. And what we're seeing now is is really just a, is a hangover from a lot of excess that we mm. saw in the housing market earlier in the pandemic. And it's going to take some time to, to get over it. What does it mean then for Canadians listening right now who are looking to sell their home or have their homes up for sale right now? Well, I think for those selling in this market, I think you... It, it very clearly, if you actually want to move the property, you have to come to the realization that prices that you saw in your neighborhood in February or March just don't exist in this market anymore. Right. Um, and it obviously depends on where you are in the country and in your specific location. But in some cases, that could very well be 10 or 20 percent below um, some of the transactions that you would have seen in your neighborhood back early in, in the year. So you have to reset those expectations. And. Um, it's a much different market as well in, in the fact that demand is so much cooler that we're not seeing things like bidding wars and, mm -hmm. and, and condition-free offers anymore. So it's, it's taking longer to close and price expectations have to be changed. But certain good conditions for someone looking to buy then if they're seeing a 20% drop in price. Well, that's the flip side of this for yeah. sure is that as a buyer now, you for the first time in a long time, you have time to actually you know think about a purchase and look at it and Put a home inspection condition on it as an example even a financing condition um, and not be in a competitive situation to buy a lot of these houses where you can actually go and negotiate with the seller at this point mm -hmm. uh, from affordability perspective i mean we haven't quite seen enough of decline in home prices to offset the increase in interest rates that we're going to be paying but that process continues to play out and i think by the time we get into 2023 uh, we're going to have prices even lower than they are today, and um, affordability is gradually going to start to improve. So that's then what you're sort of anticipating as we sort of move into the next year, um, that things will stabilize, and then will we see another blip, or is it sort of going to stay that way for a while? Well, it looks like this this adjustment process that we're seeing in terms of you know price discovery to mm -hmm. the downside uh, in, in this higher interest rate world is ongoing, and it's probably going to continue right into 2023. And I say that because, uh, I mean, the, the big driver behind what we're seeing today is higher interest rates by the Bank of Canada. And the Bank of Canada is is just not done raising rates yet. Um, so we could very well see another 100 basis points of rate hikes through the rest of this year. Mm -hmm. And the housing market tends to respond with a little bit of a, you know, a, a lag time between when, when rates change and when and the market is fully able to absorb that. So that takes us right in probably to the middle of 2023 before we can realistically step back and look and say this is okay this is where the market is, is settling down it's it's we still have some quite time, still quite a bit of time to go indeed it's certainly been an interesting ride in the housing market robert it's great to speak with you on this robert kavik is the senior economist with the bank of montreal